Hey there, YouTubers! Uh, so, I decided to do another uh, video of me massaging my feet and legs because I got quite a few um, comments and messages regarding the last video, um, and I wanted to correct one thing, it's sort of a minor correction, but um, some people were saying, oh, you should massage your feet and legs downward because that's better. And some people were saying, well, you should massage your feet and legs upward because that's better. And um, I think upward is better. I was doing it down. Um, I mean, ideally, you just want to get things moving, but up is better because obviously gravity is going to be pulling all that fluid and blood and everything like that down. So you kind of want to move that up, um, which I wasn't doing the last time. Um, but that was just a mental error of mine. Um, so I wanted to correct that. Also, I um, got some mentions about doing uh, ankle rotations. So I wanted to show that also. Um, and I also got... I also figured out a better way to do the massage, which I wanted to show. Um, so I'm going to show foot massage. Last time I did it with the socks on, and I realized that socks on is much better than doing it with the socks off. In fact, it's better if I do the entire massage with socks on and uh, like pajama, long pajama bottoms on, because it makes things easier. Um, and I will show you why in just a minute. So first I'm going to show you socks off, though, and then I'll put the socks back on, and I have long pajamas on, so I uh, will get to that. Okay, my garbage can. Let's get that out of there so we don't have to look at that. Put it... Where are we going to put it? Garbage can. Okay. Should have thought of that before I started the video, but I did not. Okay, so... Uh, there's my socks. Okay, and my cell phone. Get that out of the way. Alright, so here I'm doing the massage just with, with no socks on, of course. And, I mean, you can see it's alright. If I had lotion, it would be a bit better. <clears throat> and it's okay, but um, you'll see why it's so much easier in just a minute when I put the socks on. So I'm going to do that right now. Take me a second to put these on because these are toe socks. And you got to put each little tootsie in the footsie sock. Okay, so I'm going to do that. And I'm also going to do the other foot, which I didn't show, but basically same deal. Um, and again, I'm pushing down. I suppose I should be pushing this way, up uh, or back. So let me get this on, and, and then I will continue to show you why it's easier with clothing on than with clothing off. Again, unless you have lotion or something like that. Um, so basically, it just aids the movement because the material moves up and down with you. Whereas without that, you kind of, it's a little bit more difficult because the skin provides, um, if this, if you, again, if you don't have lotion, the skin is just like not going to move around as much as the sock will. And in terms of doing the legs, it's even more pronounced because if you have loose enough clothing, you can just go like this, like up and down, whereas, and squeeze really tight. Whereas if you're doing this, you could still do it, but I, if you'll see, it's actually, you probably can't see, but it's making little red marks on my legs. Whereas if I do it this way, it's just so much, the movement is so much more fluid. So I've I decided that I like doing this so much better, and I've actually been doing this every night in bed. So I'm doing it both ways, but more up than down. And the same thing goes for, you know, up here. 
you can do it like this and again more up than down so it's going to be the same deal for the other leg and I just find that with the so again without this it was like this but if you have lotion it's fine it works nicely if you don't this basically it's just like a sheath on your leg allowing you to move up and down with ease and so I do that a bit and then pull up the last few times just to make sure I got stuff going in the right direction and then same thing here with this part again I'm not doing a full massage I'm just sort of showing you the basics okay so that's the general idea of why I happen to think it's better with some clothing on loose fitting clothing because you get the movement um, so ankle rotations now this is something that's I mean your your base it's from what I understand I've never really done much many of these but it's it's basically just trying to get some movement and again please comment if I'm not doing this the proper way but sort of get some movement in the ankle just try to move it around get things working get things flowing um, and then also with this one so it's less of a rotation because my ankle my ankles don't really do that that much it's more more of a back and forth but there's a teensy bit of a rotation in there um, but you get the general idea and so I will have another video coming up very soon in fact I think I'm gonna record it right after I get done with this one um, I found a website that it's called best paraplegic exercises to stimulate paralyzed legs and they've got let me see one two three four five six seven eight nine nine different exercises and one of them actually is ankle uh, rotation yeah and it's basically the exact thing exactly what I just did uh, sit with one leg bent to the side so you can reach your foot use one hand to stabilize your ankle use the other hand to move your foot in circles rotate clockwise and counterclockwise so that's what I just tried to do I again my ankles don't really do it that well but you do the best you can um, okay so I will do all of those things in the next video and thanks for watching see you next time don't forget to subscribe, make sure you hit the bell for notifications, and be sure to stay safe out there.